country road. Her dad did it. Her brother did, did it. it. He did it. The police officers Dude, did they it. Do How's your mother? Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex, you idiots. This is Corbin. I am not John Denver. Oh, thank goodness. And you can follow us on Instagram Twitter. Crab. Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank you so much on Patreon. Follow an official Twitter account. Ring the bell. Follow the squad. Bang! Thank you, Ashley, for your disembodied vocal every single time. <coughs> Excuse me. You need to stop smoking those unfiltered camels. I need a lozenge. Uh, what are we doing, Rick? Like I know? <laughs> Hell if I know. That's an elephant and a rhino. I was good. Uh, yeah, we've all heard that dad joke. <laughs> Today we're reacting to a video. A video? Yeah, a video. Music video? It's called, no, it's called A Man Cleaning 9,000 Tons of Trash from the Mumbai Beaches. So, it's a, read this. There was nine... Thousand tons of trash on the Mumbai beaches? I suppose so. Read this. This one? This one. This one. Afraz Shah, a lawyer, took to the beaches of Mumbai and began the initiative to clean 9,000 tons of trash from Mumbai's Verzhova Beach. That's a lot of trash. Yeah. Your mother must be there. <laughs> That's like. I need a freaking calculator, man. What, to type in 9,000? Multiply, <laughs> multiply 9,000 times 2,000. Hold on. Seven. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, thanks, Rick. Here we go. It's an extra... This is not a landfill. This was Versa Beach in Mumbai, India, a little over three years ago. It was covered in over 6,000 tons of trash. That's what it looks like. After what the United Nations called the world's largest beach cleanup, this is Versa Beach today. It was a movement started and led by one man, Afros Shaw. How did it get that way? Awesome. My name is Afro Shah, I'm a lawyer by profession and I love oceans. In October of 2015, Versa Beach was little more than a dumping ground on the west coast of Mumbai. There were five and a half feet of plastic and when you see so much five plastic jet propulsed to the ocean, it's scary, it's very scary. We have devastated the health of our ocean. Garbage pile up either on land or in ocean is a big issue, not only in India, world over. Yeah, absolutely. So Afros took matters into his own hands. He started picking up the trash himself. I have spent uh, my childhood here, you know, I used to play here, and the beach used to be very, very clean. For me, it was purely simple. It had to be my personal journey. That's then awesome. I told myself it would be difficult for a single man to do it. So I said, why not take this personal journey to others? I provoked others to join in and eventually they did join in. Since 2015, every weekend, hundreds of volunteers join Afros to pick up the trash that has been strewn along a two mile stretch of the beach. And the volunteer work two continues miles. today. We have been cleaning for past 112 weeks now and it's almost uh, 9 million kgs of plastic and filth out from the ocean. Wow. Beach cleaning is one of the biggest preventive action to prevent this plastic going into the deep sea. This is minimum we can do. Through the use of trucks, bulldozers, buckets, whatever people can use, the beach has slowly been picked up. But the issue is more than just the beach. It's about the mindset of people. Yeah, so how did so, they get that way in the first place? apart from the beach cleanup, Afros also works with local communities to help educate them on recycling and proper trash disposal. That's awesome. We go to coastal communities where, you know, the littering happens, talking to them. I go to people's garbage. I tell them, show me. Then I tell them how to segregate, how to handle plastic. This is the first creek which is entering into the ocean from here. Mm. I'm proud that I'm connecting with people, <coughs> I'm connecting with nature. That gets a very big sense of pride in my heart, you know. This problem of pollution is created by us. We have lost a sense of belonging to the, our planet and to our ocean. A lot of people ask me, how long are you going to clean? 
the day we say that this ocean is mine and it has to be spick and span, we will not ask this question. In fact, we will go and provoke others to do what I am doing. We are in for a long haul and every citizen on this planet must be in for a long haul. Yes. Start doing your bit. There is no me. planet B. Hey, That's fantastic. Yeah, well, good. No, number one, that's incredible. Good for that guy, and also, I'm so glad he's doing that because, yeah, and, and that's not obviously just an Indian problem. No. That, that is everywhere. Yeah, if you all guys, over the world, everywhere. If you guys didn't know, there is an absolutely ginormous, vast expanse of plastic waste floating in the Pacific Ocean mm -hmm. um, that is creating its own weather. Uh, it's awful and changing the temperature of the Pacific Ocean. It's that massive, disgusting. Uh, so yeah, it's it's every body of water. Mm -hmm. And the the other, the thing they did not cover, which they didn't necessarily, um, you know, it was just about him and getting people mobilized. Something I'm thinking about is what's going on with city government there that is potentially causing their to be no trash pickup to be taken somewhere else. Mm. Um, because one of the reasons you have mass piles up of garbage in places like that isn't just because people don't care. It's because they don't have anywhere else to put, put it. it. Yeah. And there's no yeah, cleanup from the city. I don't know where the, the garbage right. system is in India. Or if there's a place, or maybe there is a dump, but they have no mode of transportation. Um, uh, so it's a, it's a, it's complex. Yeah, it's, it's it's definitely not an easy issue, especially if it's in the, like an area with the slums, which is they're Absolutely. just house on house on house on house on house. No, which and, like so you're not gonna have a dump. I mean, a, a dumpster close no. to you, so you're gonna have to walk really far. Which is one of the things like one of the things that I mean, the U.S. has major trash issues for sure, uh, but like they every person has stuff uh, a trash can at least if you're in a house, not. I don't know if there's in some different areas of the city. There might not be. Not so downtown. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The bad, in the bad parts of downtown. Because I know we got some trashed alleys and yep. there's stuff like that. So it, it's a huge problem everywhere. But something like, I don't know if you know Disney, they have like, what is it, a trash can with every 10 feet? Yeah, like in Disneyland and Disney World. I think they yeah. have a trash can within every 10 feet because they don't want anybody to hold on to something and be like, ah, no trash can, so they throw it. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, we're going to put trash cans everywhere, uh, which is one of the re ways they can keep up their uh, such a magical place mm -hmm. is because there's not trash. Yeah, and if you've, if you've never been, uh, I've never been to Dis Disney World, I know you have, but Disneyland is pretty much spotless. It's, yeah, it's and obviously always have a ton clean. of employees. Yeah, but yeah, I, I love this man for taking up this mantle of wanting to clean this because nobody else is doing it. Yeah, uh, and governments can take forever to you know get moving. Um, yeah, and the one the other thing about that is this is there on with that trash harms sea life. It harms yep. turtles. It harms like, every. It'll go out into the ocean. Mm -hmm. And but and the other thing as well is that if it looks like it is in a in an area that would be considered slums. There's a, one of the other reasons, aside from maybe the city not contributing what it needs, the resources to get trash pickup, is poverty and impoverished conditions contribute toward being depressed. Mm -hmm. And depressed people mm -hmm. don't think to take care of things. Nope. They tend to just dump stuff everywhere because for them it's why, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. And uh, it's my hope is this is not only cleaning up what's going on environmentally, which is huge, but my hope is that this kind of attention to the area and beautifying it is also helping lift the spirits of the people in the in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a beautiful story. I mean, I, I I don't know if we'll have time, but I've been trying to like do a tree planting or a beach cleanup or something whenever we come to Mumbai. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be awesome. That'd be like, a cool thing to I do get a, for a meetup, like to go out and do something. That'd be awesome. I would love that. I'm I don't know if we'll have time because we have very limited time when we go. But maybe next time, if we can't do it this time. We'll see. I would love to do something like that. Yeah, I would too. Um, but that was awesome. If you have yeah. more videos like this of inspiring people, please send them our way. And when you go to the beach, don't let her. Please don't harm the turtles. My favorite animal. Sea turtle. Like of all time? Sea turtle. The sea turtle. The sea turtle. I did not know this about you. No. Always has been. Wow. They're awesome. <laughs>